The following lesson is linked to learning outcome two, reading and viewing, and addresses the assessment standard that requires learners to be able to explain messages and themes and relate them to the text as a whole. A performance can amuse or entertain us. The theatre can delight and surprise us. And play can arouse our emotions. But one of the main things that a good play does is it gives us something to think about. Thanks for joining me for the final lesson in our series on South African drama. In this series, we have learned about the people who create plays and the process that a play goes through from idea to opening performance. We've also learned about how characters are portrayed by actors and how themes are developed. All of these elements of a play help to make watching a performance an enjoyable experience, but they also ensure that the audience leaves with something, the message of the play. In this lesson, we are going to define the word message, find out how theatre practitioners convey a message and most importantly, why this is an important part of theatre. Here are the outcomes of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the term message, identify messages in a play, and explain how a message is conveyed. Let's begin by defining the term message as it applies to theatre. The message of a play is the moral question or problem that the story puts to the audience. It is something the audience needs to think about and discuss. Now, although the message is an important part of a play, no one comes on stage and says, the message of the play is as it follows. Or, I hope you all realize that the moral issue raised in this play is X, Y and Z. As members of the audience, even though we aren't directly told what the message is, we are able to work it out from the issues that are raised in the play. Different people may also take different messages from a play. This is because we all come to the theatre from different backgrounds and with different issues. Sometimes we will see a character on stage who is experiencing something that we can identify with or will see a situation that is similar to something that we have experienced. In this series of lessons, we have been examining the play The Suitcase as an example of South African drama. From what you know about the story of The Suitcase, what key messages do you think it contains? Although the play gives us plenty to think about, an important moral question that The Suitcase poses to its audience is whether it is ever okay to steal. This question is not asked directly but is seen through what Dimi experiences. At the start of the play, we identify Dimi as being kind, honest and innocent, a real gentleman and a very tender and loving husband. As we see this character develop, Dimi may remind us of ourselves or people we know who have similar traits. This means that we are able to identify with him and the dilemma that he faces. As the play progresses, Dimi is faced with a series of obstacles. He can't find work, his savings are running out, his wife, Namsa, is pregnant and he feels as if he is letting her down. Now, as members of the audience, we may not have experienced these exact same problems, but almost every one of us is able to identify with the idea of everything seeming to go wrong. And many people would know how difficult it is to remain optimistic and sustain a loving relationship in difficult circumstances. After introducing us to the character of Dimi and making us aware of his problems, the play then shows a situation in which Dimi has to make a difficult choice. Here, Dimi describes that moment. I took the number 10. I always take the number 10. These two women sat next to me. They didn't talk or greet like we usually do in a bus. They just sat there. One of the most pale and sin sick, the other posted a suitcase in front, between her leg and mine. 
These women, they seem to have much unspoken between them. At the next stop, they rose to a light. They left their suitcase there. I saw it. And I just kept thinking that this could be my chance. <laughs> I didn't look to see what was inside the suitcase. I just wanted to get home to my wife. So, Timmy is driven to steal by the circumstances in which he finds himself. Although he is a nice, honest man, he is desperate and he takes the risks and steals the suitcase in the hope that it will improve his and Namsa's lives. We've seen how Timmy responds to the temptation of the abandoned suitcase. But this theft gives us audience members plenty to think about. Here are some of the questions you may want to consider. Is it okay to steal if you are completely desperate? Is it less of a crime to steal if you are generally a good person? What would you do in Timmy's situation? Even if you have never been in a situation where you could have taken an abandoned suitcase, the moral questions which the play raises are universal. In other words, the same questions about whether it is ever okay to steal would apply just as easily to a street child stealing a loaf of bread or someone finding a wallet in the road and keeping it. The play, The Suitcase, gets us thinking about these issues, but it also leaves us with a moral message. Timmy ends up going to jail for stealing the suitcase, and he dies without ever seeing his wife, Namsa, again or getting to be a father to Lovoyo. So without spelling it out directly, the play does give the audience the sense that even if you commit a crime out of desperation, stealing is a crime and it will be punished. The play, however, contains more than one message. As audience members, we may feel sorry for Dimi and Namsa as their situation becomes more desperate, but may also think that they are partially to blame for the position in which they find themselves. Dimi is so determined to prove to Namsa and her family that he can be a good husband and provider that he takes her to the city in an attempt to find a better life. This is a bold gesture, but it was also perhaps a hasty decision. We wonder whether Dimi and Namsa thought carefully about how they would survive in the city and whether they wouldn't have been better off trying to sort out their problems with their families and remaining in the village. Even once they moved to the city, there were other points where Dimi and Namsa could have acted differently, possibly with different outcomes. At a third place of call, at this uh, paint factory, a white man put down his price in the sending voice, two pounds a week. I said, no, three pounds. Take it or leave it, my boy. I said, and then I just chuckled, not knowing what tickled me. Dimi was offered a job, which would have paid two pounds a week, but he turned this down because he wanted at least three pounds. And, at another point, Namsa offers to go and find work, but Dimi won't let her. So is this what it's going to be like? What do you mean? Us, Dimi, that's what I mean. You waking up every day and me sitting here worried sick, hoping and praying that you'll come back and tell me something different for a change. What do you want, Namsa? No, the question here is, is this what you want? There is nothing out there! In these clips, we realize that Dimi has played a role in his own downfall. He is so proud and stubborn about wanting to provide for his family that he fails to see two opportunities that could have changed his situation. Namsa is also partially to blame, as we can see in this clip. I'm still strong. I can't watch you go through this alone. This is no time for pride, Dee. Tomorrow I will go, and that's that. At this point in the story, Dimi and Namsa could have gone back to the village, but Namsa's pride gets in the way. She doesn't want to give up and appear a failure. Again, we might never be in exactly this situation, but these scenes do give us something to think about. What message do the scenes we have just watched send to the audience? 
These scenes help convey the message that whilst it is good to be optimistic, there comes a time when we should be prepared to come up with other interim goals to help us achieve our main goals. Demir Namsa's stubbornness reminds us that we should try to make objective decisions that are not influenced by our ego and pride. In our introductory lesson, we learned about protest theatre and the important role that it has played in getting people to think about and discuss issues. Although the play The Suitcase was not performed in the apartheid era, it does get us to think about the social and political circumstances of the time and the role that these played in the characters' lives. For example, we watched Dimi try so desperately to find a job which makes us reflect on how difficult this must have been without access to good education. We see how difficult it was for people to move about and find employment when they were forced to carry passes. This makes us consider how the political system impacted on people's lives and livelihoods during apartheid. Then we see Timi get arrested and convicted for murder when all he did was take a suitcase, which makes us wonder about how fair the justice system was, especially towards people who could not afford to get good legal representation. In addition to make us consider the context in which the story takes place, the play also gets us to think about South Africa today and whether finding employment and raising a family without much money is any better now than it was in the 1950s. Here are some questions that watching the play may have got you to think about. How does unemployment impact on people's lives? How important is it to have a good education in order to secure employment? Should the state provide for unemployed people's basic needs? How reliable is our justice system? Could our courts arrive at the same mistaken verdict today? If a play is well written and well performed, it should get the members of the audience to think about the issues that it has raised and the messages that were shared long after the applause dies down. To see what messages the suitcase shared with you, here's the task for today's lesson. Identify a message in the play, The Suitcase, that was not mentioned or fully discussed in this lesson. Explain how this message was conveyed. The Suitcase is indeed a sad and tragic story. But it is also a great example of new South African theatre. I hope that this series of lessons have inspired you to learn more about theatre and to read plays with greater understanding. There is definitely magic in performance and I hope that these lessons encourage you to enjoy this magic by going to watch more plays.